what is up everybody and welcome back to another lspdfr tutorial today we're going to teach you how to install the seat belt so you can actually have that real feeling of when you hop inside your vehicle and you hear that annoying chime when you hop inside your vehicle telling you put the seat belt on i just turned the radio up don't get me wrong you should be wearing your seat belts but we're going to go ahead and show you how to install this inside grand theft auto 5 if you are new to the channel definitely consider hitting that subscribe button hit that notification bell and also do me that one favor smash that like button but let's get started. So the very first thing that you guys are going to want to do is go to Steam, go to Grand Theft Auto 5, right click, hit properties, actually go to manage and we'll just go to browse local files. So go to manage, browse local files. This will pull up your GTA 5, just like so. So you want to make sure that you're on your GTA 5 main directory right here and make sure that you're not clicked on any folder. If you are clicked on a folder, you see it highlighted blue. You definitely don't want that. Click over here to the side. So what we are going to do is go ahead and download this plugin. Big shout out to the creator of this plugin. Thank you so much. It's amazing. You did a really good job with this. Um, so let's go ahead and click download this file. Click agree and download. We're going to go to the very top one and we're going to click download. So the cool thing about this seatbelt mod is you can actually change the chimes up to different uh, model vehicles as in Ford, uh, Chevy. You also have Honda in there. Sucks that there's no Dodge, but it's all good. We're going to go ahead and open this file. And what we're going to do is, so you guys could go with the lower audio volume. Um, I don't use that. It sounds fine to me. As long as you put your seatbelt on, you're good to go. So we're going to go right here to files. And we're going to take these three files. Now, I do want to inform you guys, depending on when you're downloading this, make sure you watch out for Rage Native UI. Okay. So what I would do is just go right here, Rage Native UI. Just type that in. I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys. So you just check. Make sure that this is exactly, you know, the updated one. It's February 5th. And if we go in this download, it is for February 5th. So it is good to put inside your files. But just understand that Rage, Rage Native UI does update. So make sure you just check that on your files and make sure it's up to date before you install it. If it is not up to date, just go to this site right here. Click on this one, download it, and you'll be able to install it inside your thing. I'll show you right now. So just click on it, open the file. Go right here and what you're going to want is the exact the same one that they have inside here so it's rage native ui dot dol so that is the one that you want so we're going to pull that up and let's just say that it is out of date it's not 2523 it's been updated all you do is just go to your gta 5 main directory take this in here rage native ui and drag and drop over to your gta 5 main directory place file on the destination i'm going to replace it just to show you guys this is the one that i'm using and everything you always want to have the updated one so we'll go back to the download for the seatbelt, and we'll just go ahead and take these three files right here drag and drop in there now say you are this one's not updated it's out of date then don't install this one in there but it is up to date right now so just check these dates because a lot of people have these problems where they they put this stuff in here and it's out of date and it messes up their game so just watch out for that so uh we're going to take all three of these drag and drop over here just like so and uh not too sure where that opened up so again drag and drop over here it's going to ask you to replace files if you already have them go ahead and replace them and what we are going to do is we are going to go over to gta 5 so i'm going to show you how to open up the menu so you can adjust stuff because you're going to see when you start up you'll see here in a second it actually shows up on the middle of your screen and obviously you don't want that so i'm going to show you how to move it and also change the chimes up for each kind of vehicle you want to use so let's go ahead and jump inside GTA 5. So now that we're inside GTA 5, what I'm going to do is show you how to use the seatbelt. As long as you have all your plugins loaded in, obviously seatbelt is a plugin. So you make sure that all your plugins are loaded in. You can hit F4, type in reload all plugins, and then also force duty to go on patrol. Um, but what we're going to do is go ahead and show you what it's like once you have all your plugins loaded in. As soon as you hop inside your vehicle, you guys are going to see the seatbelt indicator right there in the middle of the screen. We're going to go ahead and show you guys how to move that. You can make it larger, you can make it smaller, and you can put it in any corner that you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit F4. We're going to type in open seat belt settings. Okay, I'm going to hit tab, hit enter, and this is going to pull up the settings. So what we're going to do is hit F4 again, and we are going to go ahead and click zero to get out of them uh, menus without hitting backspace. Because if you hit backspace, it's going to take this menu down. And uh, you don't want to do that, so hit zero, you know, back out of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to control. So to put your seatbelt on and take your seatbelt off is going to be the left control key, okay? 
So controller key is D-pad up. So if you press up on your D-pad, you'll be able to do it. So I'm gonna hit the left control key. And you're gonna hear the seatbelt noise right there. And also the indicator is off your screen. I'm gonna take it off. And you're gonna see right there that it is back on your screen. You also have in here where you have an option to allow controller and not allow controller. So you just check or uncheck that box. We got general right here. Possible seatbelt lockup, uh, meaning basically when you're trying to hop out, it may lock up on you. Um, you could take that off interaction, animations, basically shows your character mm -hmm. unlocking, or well, basically taking the seatbelt off and putting it back on. So you'll see right here, I'm gonna hit it. And then I'm gonna take it off. And there we go. So you see the animation. You got auto unsafe, uh, unfastened seatbelt on exit. So basically say you got a suspect running, you wanna jump out real fast. This will auto unfasten it as soon as you're trying to jump out. Um, you got engine startup, seatbelt reminder. So basically as soon as the engine starts up, it'll give you a reminder, hey, put your seatbelt on just like IRL. So we are gonna go right here. Um, you got vehicle swerve. So basically while you're driving and you try to put your seatbelt on, if you have that check mark, your vehicle will kind of swerve because obviously you're not paying attention to the road you're trying to put your seatbelt on. Um, so high speed interaction, basically letting you know that you're at unsafe speeds. Seatbelt really won't do much for you. Um, you got controller vibration. Let's go to measurements. You got speed right here, unsafe speed, 70 miles per hour. I'd say it's real, real life, mm -hmm. probably about 99 above. You got chance of seatbelt lock up 5%. So you can change that up if you don't want that. Um, controller vibration when you get around that speed. So your controller will vibrate. We got indicator so seatbelt indicator is the one that you see in the middle of the screen the nice indicator right there that's all red we are going to go ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and change that up and what we're going to do is go right here so you can change the scale of it you can make it bigger make it lower what i like to do is indicator x offset i like to go probably about 100 right here so that takes it all the way to the left side of my screen so you're going to see right there below the menu this one right here i like to go 1500 and what it does is it puts it right there okay um, I may raise it just a tad bit and the reason for that is because a lot of my callouts come out right here so and I, I want to see what my callouts are also when I mean you really don't have to worry about it as long as you have your seatbelt on but I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit so if I do get a call out it'll be right there if I forget to take my seatbelt off so you can see right there if you don't want the seatbelt indicator all you have to do is click this and it'll take it off so you don't have to have the seatbelt indicator um, what I will show y'all is we got audio right here. So you got disable chime. If you don't want to hear the chime uh, from the seatbelt while you're driving, indicating, letting you know, hey, put your seatbelt on, then you can uncheck this right here. Um, you got chime sound. You got Audi. You got BMW, BMW 2, Chevrolet, Ford, Ford 2, Hyundai. It's a Hyundai. Mazda and Mazda 2, Mercedes. Um, so them are the chimes that you guys have. So you guys can, you guys can hear right here. Let's go forward. So you're gonna have a chime right here. You hear it? So it's letting you know that your seatbelt's not on. And this is realistic. I mean, I don't know if you guys mm -hmm. been in these new cars nowadays, but they want you to put your damn seatbelt on. That chime noise really gets on my nerves on my charger. So sometimes I turn the radio up because sometimes I don't want to wear my seatbelt, but it's unsafe. I get it. I understand that. But sometimes I just don't want something over the front of me. That's just the way I am. But I do wear my seatbelts every now and again. But always wear your seatbelt. Be safe. So we are going to go ahead and we got different fasten sounds. So we got this one right here. You got this one right here, which is fasten one. They, they really kind of sound... Let's see, Fasten 2. Fasten 2 is a little bit different. Yeah, that's a little bit different. You got Unfasten 1, which will sound like this. And Unfasten 2. I kind of like Unfasten 2. Um, fasten 1. I'll go with Fasten 2 on this one, too. So, notifications. Um, fail to exit notification. Too fast notification. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uncheck all of them because obviously I don't need that stuff. Um, plug plug in conflict notifications. I would leave that on just so you know if it interferes with any other plugin. Um, and there you guys go. So if I take my seatbelt off, you're gonna see it right there. If I put my seatbelt on, watch this. I'm gonna try to get out of my vehicle. I'm gonna I'm gonna be going and then I'm gonna try to get out of my vehicle. 
you're gonna see the green indicator over there okay it's it's letting you know your seatbelt is on so you can't get out of the vehicle so hit left control left control is gonna be uh, below shift on the left side of your keyboard and um, to the left of Windows so it's right there in the very corner of your keyboard but fasten up click it or ticket guys click it or ticket thank you all so much for coming by and watching if you have any questions feel free to put it down in the comments and uh we'll see you all in the next one stay blessed stay safe out there do me that one favor smash that like button it's free to you but means the world to me thank you all so much see you all in the next one peace